Okay guys, so today we're going to do a bit of a review and install on the iTech World products. So as you would have seen, uh, the video that we did back in December, January before we left on our trip around Oz eight months ago, uh, we installed this uh, battery box with the 100 amp hour lithium battery from iTech World and it hasn't missed a beat. We've been running it constantly every day for eight months, running our 30 litre fridge freezer uh, in the BT50. And because it's got the DC to DC integrated into the battery box, uh, we've wired that to the alternator in the car. And pretty much every time you drive, that charges up the battery and allows it to be topped up and run the freezer for eight months. So uh, that's definitely been really handy. We also did bring a solar blanket but we've never used it uh, just because of how often we drive. We're driving nearly every day, but there may be kind of a couple of days where we don't drive, but it still doesn't go below about 60%. So it's really good. Unless you're going to be somewhere maybe for like a, a week or more than kind of three days, uh, you, you don't really need solar. Uh, you can also just start the car if you need to top it up. Uh, but yeah, it's been great having this to run the freezer. It's got all the different outputs and inputs too. So like I was saying before, you can plug solar into it because it's got the DC to DC. Uh, you can take power out like the fridge or another kind of Anderson plug output. Uh, but you've also got uh, 12 volt cigarette sockets and USB uh, sockets as well. So you can actually charge the, the newer iPhones or Samsung. And even we found out our Mac laptop, you can charge off of it. So. Yeah, it's really handy having that for when the van's uh, either we're not with the van or the van's full. And yeah, it's been a great bit of kit. We've had it strapped down on the bracket and we've done heaps of corrugations and it hasn't uh, rattled or moved at all, which is really surprising. Pretty much everything else in the canopy has moved a bit. Um, so yeah, can't recommend it enough value for money and if you don't want to mess around getting all the different connections the battery box is a great bit of kit to save you a bit of time but also keep everything neat and tidy all right guys so today we're going to also be installing the 1000 watt inverter from itech world so i thought i'd run through on why we chose this and our bit of thoughts on the inverters from itech world so a few months ago in the caravan our inverter that came from factory in that um, kick the bed and we had to get a new one now we went with the iTech world because we've dealt with them before and we know their products are good and I have to say it's been awesome having that I think the biggest thing that me and Monique have liked about the iTech world inverter is this remote control kit now you probably think oh is it worth the extra money um, to have this and would I really use it it's a bit of a gimmick but in the caravan, it's been awesome because where our inverter is mounted is it's in kind of a little cupboard that we don't really can get into easy. Uh, so having this, you can run the kind of switch anywhere you want. And that way, when you want the inverter on, you just flick the switch and you can uh, have power. So that's an awesome thing with the inverter. But it's also been running really well. Uh, we've got a couple of 900 kind of watt appliances that we've been using, a kettle and a sandwich press and it hasn't overloaded the inverter which is great and yeah it's been running fine so we thought we'd go for another one in the bt now the main reason for that is uh if we want to charge laptops uh that don't have the plug here and also we want to run the starlink uh we've been doing the starlink from the van but it's a bit annoying because You've got to run the cable a fair way, plus you've got to get it through the door or a window, and it's always a bit of a pain kind of closing it on that, and the cable's getting a bit broken. So we thought we'd chuck one in here, and the best thing about this battery box and the inverter together is Isaac Lord have actually made a pre-done cable, which is my favourite part because it means less work for me and an easy install. So what they've done is... On every battery box, uh, they've got the big plug here, uh, which is enough power output for the inverter. And they've got a 175 amp hour fuse on that, pre-done. So pretty much all you need to do is plug this in, plug that onto the inverter, and you've, you're good to go. So we'll, uh, we'll show you how that's done, and uh, yeah, get it installed. 
Okay, so we'll open up the inverter now, show you what's inside. We've got some cables, the manual, and then the main inverter itself. So, I haven't figured out where I'm going to mount it yet, but we'll get it all wired up and running and see how it goes. So one of my other favorite features about this is I like that the studs on the inverter are integrated and have little caps on them, just makes it a nice seamed finish. Uh, but pretty much all we've got to do is add these two onto the positive and negative. Um, I'm not sure if we'll mount this, but it does have little mounting holes, so you can mount that somewhere. And then we just got to plug that into there and uh, we'll give it a go. Right, so we've just hooked up our positive and negative cable and yeah we've done it upside down so this little groove fits when the cap is on like that and it's pretty clever they've actually got the integrated nut in there so when you're tightening this you don't need to have a spanner holding the bottom nut as well so we'll tighten them up um, and then we'll go from there Okay, so we've got it plugged in, wired up now. So we're just gonna run a test. I'll get probably the Starlink out and uh, see how that goes. And yeah, I've got to go back into town to get some supplies to mount it. I thought it might've been able to fit on here, but I'll have to run some bar or tube across there to kind of mount it on. Uh, but yeah, it's really <laughs> easy install. I can never install something um, so quickly. It's great. And yeah, you can kind of, mount this I'm thinking up here and then I'll tuck those cables in down the side and it should be nice and easy. All right so we've just run the Starlink and the modem just on the roof there so we're going to flick it on now and we'll come back in a couple of minutes once that Starlink's booted up and we'll check to see how it's running. All right guys so we've got it up and running Starlink's online and you can hear it just ticking away doesn't draw too much power, the Starlink, um, so it won't kind of keep the fan on yet, but if we put a bigger appliance on, we can uh, test it out, which we might do a bit later. All right, guys, so we've fast forwarded about a week from when we first were filming wiring up the inverter. And since then, we went back to Broome. I got a few supplies on mounting it. So what I ended up doing was using some steel flat bar and some M16 nuts to use on the channel in our canopy. And yeah, we've just completed the gib and it's all held up really well, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we've been using the inverter a few times in the past kind of week or so for toasty machine, uh, charging the laptop. The Starlink's been permanently kind of wired up. So we just chuck out this cable and the satellite dish and we just flick it on. That's really handy to have that. Uh, it's also been kind of 38 degrees every day, pretty much for the last two weeks. So. The battery has been running really well, keeping up with the inverter and the freezer, which runs every day on about negative 12. So uh, it's been doing really well. And yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Obviously, we'll see how it goes under the test of time, but we've done probably the hottest and hardest kind of week I think we'll probably do. So yeah, really happy. If you want to go check out some of their products, go look at iTech World. And if you've got any questions for me about install or any of the product stuff, just comment them down below and uh, we'll see you next time.